My talk was about covert hate speech and conspiracy theories. So my question was, how people do convince people in believing in conspiracy theory? What do they use linguistically? What argument, what argument do they use? So I looked at many comments uh, online. They were actually labeled with specific argumentation, like um, what kind of heightening emotions uh, devices they were using, how they were reframing the event as something that was organized by somebody, and how they were using um, specific strategies to bring doubt and to heighten distrust. So in my talk, I had many, many examples, and uh, I would cite the use of ellipses, dot, 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 so that the people can actually finish the sentence the way they want, or you, some rhetorical question, that means you ask a question which is pointless, but you do it to actually instill some doubt for the people. And I found that the people responding to this kind of strategies were not uh, trained to do it well because they were very hostile to the, per to the, you know, the arguments of conspiracy theory. But um, this is not how you convince another person to have other beliefs. And uh, the result of my um, query was the tone is the most important thing when you want to intervene on the social media. You have to stay positive, you have to be very sure of your statistics and your facts, and you have to acknowledge that the person has a point. Not ridicule, not your sarcasm, which is the main strategy that people use when they hear about conspiracy theory, because that will actually maybe stop the person, but it will not reframe the event and the person will actually, her beliefs or his beliefs will actually be reinforced. <laughs>